So years ago, I kind of stumbled into making cartoons with zero budget, and what I found inside Canva blew my mind. No fancy software, no animation degree, just me, my favorite beverage, and free tools. Now I've made hundreds of animated videos this way, and today, I'm showing you exactly how to start from scratch. If you've ever thought, I'd love to make cartoons, but I've got no clue how to start, you're gonna love this. Let's go. All right, so the first thing I'll do once I get inside Canva is choose video. I do want to point out I am using a free account, you can tell that because it's asking me to try the pro version. So click on video and choose landscape. Next I'll come right down here and add more pages, click on this plus button to do that. First I need to add a background. So I'll go to elements and we can look at graphics, videos, photos, whatever. I'll choose graphics. Important, any of these that have a crown on. Them can only be used if you have a paid account. So I won't use those. I don't see anything that I really want to use, so I'll drag in something here that I've gotten from my Creative Fabrica account. It is a beach scene. I'll take this and shrink it down a little bit so you can see it better. So you can see it runs off the page. I want it to run off the page because I'm going to make the background actually move. I'll show you how in a second. Now I'll go back over here and look for walking. Here's a trick. Come up here to these three lines, click on that, scroll to animated, click on that. Now everything you see are characters that are actually moving. Let's choose this guy. So I'll flip him. Now here's how you make this actually work. So he is moving, but he's not going anywhere. This is one way to make it look like he's moving even though he's really not. First, I'll pull this over like that. What I'll do is click on this. Then go to animate and click on this B. Now I'm going to move the background in his direction. Hold down the shift key and drag it just like that. Okay, click done. Now let's watch it. Okay, that's one way to do it. Let's try another. I need a new background. I could look in elements and choose any of them. Remember, don't pick the ones with crowns if you're using the free plan. I don't really see anything I like, so this time I'll drag in something that I made. It's a city street after it's rained. I'll click on adjust and brighten it up a little bit. Okay, I need someone who is walking, so let's go back up here. Remember the trick? Click here, click animated and this time I'll choose this lady. Next I'll drag her practically off the page just like that and then I'm going to make her walk across the street. Here's how I'll do that. Go to animate, click on the B, hold down the shift key and pull her across. That's good. Then click done. All right, so now you know two ways of making something move. All right. Here's another way I want to show you. I need to add a background again. So, I'll look for night sky. Let's go to graphics and I'll pick that and put it there. Then I'll add some stars. Next I have a picture of a house. I got this at Creative Fabrica, so I'll put it there. Next I need some ground and I found this in Creative Fabrica. I'll pull it in here then go to position. Pull this behind. Yeah, that'll work. Now I need some ghosts. I'll go to graphics. Click here. Choose animated. How about this one?
and maybe add a little ghost doggy out here. Okay, let's try this pink one. Now I'll make the ghost move around the house. Click on animate. Click on this. Just like that. And for this one we'll go to animate and have it flying up. Then, go to position and pull this ghost down behind the house. And this one also. Now. When we watch it, they're going to be flying behind the house. Then you can always add happy Halloween or something. Let's do that. We don't want it to show up the whole time. Here's a trick. Take this and pull it right over there. And now it's only going to show part of the time. So there's three ways to animate things for your kids, your classroom, or business. Take these methods and use them to make something completely unique. Try it out for yourself and see what you come up with. I hope you enjoyed learning these new tricks. Lastly, I want to share two more bonus tricks with you. I've already shared the bonus trick here. But I want to add a bonus thing for these two also. For this one, I'll go back to elements and go to my recently used things. I got some stars there and I will add these right up here to dress the page up a little bit. There we go. And for the next one, since it looks like it's raining, let's add some actual rain. So I will go back to elements and look for rain inside graphics. I didn't see anything I like, so I'll go to videos and pick one there. So remember, the page now is 5.7 seconds long. This rain video is a whole lot longer, so I'll show you how to fix it in a sec. Click on this and add it to the page just like that. Then, go to transparency and lower it way down. You see, it's still kind of happening there. First, I'll shrink this back down to 5.7 seconds again. Then I'll click on position and drag this rain layer underneath the lady walking. So now when we watch it, you can see the rain as the lady is walking and also the puddles and raindrops in the background. That's a really interesting and fun effect. So I hope these little tricks will help you. Have fun playing with them, do some experimentation, see what you can come up with on your own and have fun animating. And if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.